Hey everyone, I got to spend the weekend playing with the Grand Ma 3 at LEC. So today we're going to take a look at the new hardware, the new software, and how it differs from Grand Ma 2. One of the first things I noticed is how the screen locks for travel. It's got locking mechanisms on either side so the console can safely travel. MA has also completely done away with the motorized screen lifting, so MA up and MA down will no longer apply. The new encoders are dual use, so you can adjust your fine and coarse settings with just one encoder. They've changed the layout of the board itself, so your muscle memory is going to be a little different and it'll take some getting used to. They've also switched from a PowerCon input to a True1 input. The patch menu is pretty much the same. It features both the Grand Ma 2 library and the Grand Ma 3 library. MA gave us an attributes screen, which saves a ton of space in your other windows. Nothing's changed about storing queues, so here I'm just building my text sequence for these Sharpies. One of the things I found pretty interesting about the MA3 software is how it handles storing flash queues. So here I've built a strobe effect that I'm going to store to an executor. If I now go to edit that executor, I can click handle and I can change it to a flash queue. This is incredibly useful for busking situations, which I find myself in all the time. One of the awesome features of MA3 is the built-in 3D visualizer. They made it super simple to create your 3D environment. They've given you all the tools you need in order to orbit, zoom, or rotate all within this 3D visualizer. The phase creator is where you're going to build all of your chasers and all of your effects. By building out your preset pools, you're going to assign them as references in a phase stack in order to create your effect.
I've created my steps, selected my colors. Now I'm going to create the phaser. Here I'm going to up the speed and then I'm going to store it. This is the result. So there you have it, a first look at Grand Ma 3 in Mode 3. I hope this video shed a little bit of light on the new hardware and the new software. I still have a lot to learn about this console, but I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, click subscribe.